sale by Toolcrafter802 on ebay.com. It is uh, a floating tool holder, often used by gunsmiths and the tailstocks of metal waste to compensate for any misalignment of tailstock to that of headstock alignment. Um, it's very important that the access of the uh, headstock and the axis of the tailstock be in perfect alignment when doing reaming operations or uh, tapping operations, which would include uh, chambering a, a barrel or um, threading a barrel, the end of the barrel for muzzle brake or boring out the end of the barrel for a compensator. Um, this started out life as a CMP top end made in France floating tool holder with external adjustments for uh, radio play is model C21620LJJ and it was customized by me uh, and what I did was uh, I added a lateral float feature and a more taper number three shank. Um, this system uh, allows for float in the radial direction but it also has a spring loaded lateral float which uh, can be uh, operator locked should the person be doing uh, a chamber in a rifle barrel and not need that float you can lock down like that and now uh, you'll just have the radial float and no lateral float or you can unlock it and that'll give you the spring loaded action uh, which is, comes in really handy when tapping or cutting threads okay so let me just show you really quickly um, how I modified this unit. There's a couple of lock screws here to um, lock it into place on the Morse taper number three shank. Okay, so what you have here is um, originally it's a 20 millimeter straight shank on the SMP holder, uh, which um, mounts to 16 millimeter straight shank tooling. Uh, what I did was I took a Morse USA number three blank arbor and bored a 20 millimeter hole in it and uh, there is a triplex spring system and hardened rod guide system in place as well as a, there's a locking detent and a uh, locking hole. And this housing helps to protect the operator's fingers uh, from any of that spring loaded action. Um, there's an o-ring to create a seal. Uh, it does not really affect the float mechanism in any way whatsoever. Um, it still has plenty of radial float. Let me find uh, which one was the lock screw here. There okay, we go. Uh, the SMP holder is basically, from what I can tell from the cross-section of the drawing um, that the manufacturer supplied, it was brand new, out of the box, uh, this tool holder was, and it's got ball bearing um, and old hand coupling pin systems for um, maintaining the uh, float mechanism and anti-rotational mechanism. Uh, there's no way I'm going to take that apart because I will end up with bearings falling out and uh, I am not in a clean room environment. I do not want to have to deal with trying to locate those bearings and reposition them. As I just showed you how I can lose a set screw.
this operator was to be doing chambering work, you lock it down so that you have no need for that spring-loaded mechanism. Um, so included with the set is an ER-16, uh, or pardon me, an ER-20 16 millimeter shank tool holder that slides precisely into that bore and that can be locked in place with an Allen head collar here, reinforcement collar. And that collet nose receives the ER20 series collets. I had a shelf set that has been sitting on the shelf for years. These are brand new. They're metric series collets, um, but most operators now use uh, Form B collets, which allow for about 40 thousandths of an inch of collapse. So um, you can take a metric collet and chuck imperial tools with it, as well as metric tool shanks. Uh, they lock snap into the nose like such and clamp into the tool holder like that. Um, let me just find the right size here and I'll give you an example of uh, chucking in a chamber reamer. See, some of these, actually most of these are still wrapped in plastic. That one is, uh, three, so. You find a 7 16. I think this is it. Still wrapped in plastic. Brand new precision collet. And you snap it into the tool holder first, into the nut. And slide it into the nose piece and tighten it. And this is a 30 out 6 chamber reamer. And that'll tighten up right onto that shank. And this provides the float necessary um, between tail stock and head stock. Um, and allows that chamber reamer to follow the bore of the rifle barrel being machined without being unduly influenced by that access of the tail stock. So, also included in the set is basically um, a full set of ER20 collets, and that goes from, I believe, three. One eighth of an inch or three millimeters all the way up to half inch. Um, I'll try to find a quarter inch here. Brand new, never used. And you snap out the other collet. Quick change, snap in your quarter inch collet. And be using a rimfire reamer at this point. 22 caliber rimfire reamer is then chucked directly into the nose piece. That would be tightened up with a wrench, and you now have rimfire reaming capabilities. So, um, none of the chamber reamers are included with the auction. Um, what you're getting is you're getting the tool set less any cutting tools. Um, also included is a die holder that I manufactured. Um, this is inch and a half round dies that are locked into place with set screws. And that has a 16 millimeter shank on it. Um, and like I said, the die is not included. And what you do is you swap out. Loosen a lock collar. Take out your ER20 collet chuck. And then put in place the die holder. And then we can. Loosen up on the compression system. And 
what that does is that allows for the uh, tool holder to follow the pitch of the rod being threaded in the lathe. Um, also, likewise with the collet chuck, taps can be used in the collet chuck and the tap would then follow the pitch of its own design and not be influenced by the uh, lead screw, feed screw of the tailstock. Uh, it's a pretty neat little system. Um, it's being offered on eBay, which is a seven day auction. Uh, highest bidder will be taking this. I have somebody lined up already who is interested in this and I may be selling it um, outside of eBay beforehand. Uh, but please bookmark or add me as a favorite on YouTube or on eBay because I do have lots of tooling that I will be offering in the near future. Thanks for viewing the video. Um, enjoy. Have a good afternoon. Every day, that's why I'm